Yo guys, what is up? It is Master Darius here. I'm back here for video. The next topic of my super in-depth Halo 5 Guardians beta series. In this video, in this video here, we're gonna be discussing the huge topic which is flowing around the Halo community: Spartan abilities. What I think of them. This video consists solely of my personal opinions. A lot of this may be factual um, information, but you may have a different opinion to mine. So. If you want, you can tell me some of your opinion about the Spartan abilities in the comment below. But anyway, so yeah, I haven't been, I've been um, inactive the last three days is because, um, because I've been basically preparing for my examinations in school. Luckily today I had my last free set of examinations. I'm done. I'm a free happy bird now. So anyway, and here I am doing a commentary. So anyway, um... So yeah, before we kick into the topic of the sparring abilities here, I recommend you to check out my previous video on the series if you haven't, where I talk about remix maps in Halo 5 Guardians beta. And also, I do not recommend looking for information about Halo 5 Guardians beta or opinions, better said, around forums. Very toxic. I'm gonna put there a warning sign over forums. Very toxic. So most of the information there is a lot of bollocks shouldn't be trusted at all and um, it's just toxic trying to bring down the Halo community. There's some idiots there trying to spread hate and bring down the entire Halo community. So I, it's very contagious. Please do not go near it. Thank you. Um, and also most of these idiots don't even give exactly um, constructive evidence to, wa um, to support their ugly points anyway so yeah so anyway let's talk about sparring abilities now the most simplest one to in the list is the sliding ability now let's talk about slide here slide is for by far for most the least popular um by least popular I mean it's not used at all in Halo 5 Guardians it's not really it doesn't really have much use but I can definitely I um I, I can definitely say in my opinion that um, it does not need to be nerfed or buffed in any way shape or form um, basically, slide works similar to, um, I don't know, not many shooters had slide before. The only shooter out there that did have slide was, um, Call of Duty Ghost, but slide works a lot different in Halo 5 Guardians in that game did, um, and it's not very useful as it was in Call of Duty Ghost, but anyway, the only, the only one reason which I think you could use slide in in this game is basically, there's one good reason, and, um, and that is definitely not showing off of the slide, but anyway, um, Basically, if you're playing on the ma on the breakout, for example, as I am here in the gameplay, and somebody is trying to put a last hedge on you for battle rifle, you can s while you're while you're on away from him, you can press for crouch button to slide and and yeah, you basic you're basically lower down on the ground and the shot of a battle rifle will miss you, and you should be able to get behind cover and you're safe and you have survived. That's one good reason I found. That's one good thing about um, slide which I might find. But anyway, the next thing we're going to be talking about is smart scope. A big one. A big one talked around the toxic side of community. But anyway, is smart scope really ADS? In my opinion, not really. ADS in Halo 5 Guardians kind of only counts with or fully automatic weapons such as the assault rifle and SMGs and those weapons never had proper zoom in before where aim was improved in range in the older Halos. Never before, but now in Halo 5 Guardians it does, and it's not really much of a problem anyway. It does improve gameplay as well. And um, basically smart scope on the weapons such as bow rifle, DMR, it's basically the exact same thing as zooming in, just a different anim animation. And works the same thing as well. So basically, if you get hit, zoomed in, even if you ARs and stuff, um, you get you zoom out. Basically, it works the same thing like all classic Halo does, which is good. And um, there's no flinch there. You just get zoomed out, and um, yeah, that's a very good thing. So smart scope is not overpowered. It only improves your aim slightly in long ranges, in long range weapons, and um, it also improves your aim slightly with your automatic weapons. But smart scope is definitely not really a COD exact feature. It hasn't been taken from COD in any shape or form. It's it works good with Halo and it doesn't feel like Call of Duty at all. It feels like a just a normal zoom in animation from the classic Halos. So anyway, um next we're gonna be talking about this clamber, the over simple ability. So basically 
people have been complaining that the skill, that the skill jump of, um, that the skill out of crowd jumping has been taken out of Halo 5, no longer there because of clamber. Basically, what clamber is, if you jump, if you jump and you and you just miss perhaps um, a ledge, and if you actually hold the clamber button, or technically if you hold the um, the jumping button, you'll s you'll manage to just grab the ledge and you'll climb over it. And um, yeah, people say that it kind of takes away from crowd jumping skills. Um, Free for Free have confirmed that crowd jumping will be in a final game, so no need to worry about that. The skill. The jumping skills will still be there, but Clamber will be there as well, so you can get even higher up on the map, which is good. So Clamber is actually very good and actually liked around the Halo community, and I like it as well. Clamber is very useful, it definitely speeds up gameplay a little bit, doesn't it? So anyway, um, so next up we're going to be talking about is Charge. The Charge ability works similar to the slide. Once you, he once you hit full velocity, Instead of hitting the crowd jump and, uh, button, you can um, press the melee button and then you'll do like a sort of a rugby tackle charge onto somebody and you'll take out their shields and if they don't have any shields, they'll die. But if you hit them from behind, they'll die in one hit. So um, charge is pretty good and breakout is a one hit kill all the time if it hits. Now charge, I really like charge. Charge is freaking badass. Now it comes from my opinion, by the way. Um, it's badass. I mean, I like that you go in free third person mode and you suddenly like this r super um, fast rugby, s rugby superhero, whatever. Um, and then when you hit somebody, it's boom, you got a nice... You get a nice bone cracking sound coming out and it's quite satisfying if you manage to kill, get the kill with it and then just boom right in your face. Very cool. Very cool ability. I like it. I like the charge. I like to smash people in the face of a charge. It's very, it's a very fun opinion, um, ability in my opinion and it's definitely not game breaking or anything like that. It's very fun and I think a lot of people like it. A lot of people do. So anyway, let's talk about the next ability. The next ability... Let's talk about something big now. Sprint. Now, Sprint... There's been 50-50 opinions about Sprint in when it was first introduced in Halo and back then in Halo Reach. People didn't like it. 50% of the community didn't like it. 50% of the community liked it because it sped up the gameplay or something like that. And I think I'm for 50% that, um like Sprint. I did not really like it much in Halo Reach. It was quite annoying. Um, Halo 4, people did not like it. A lot of people didn't like it. It was very overpowered. Um, basically, if you if you made a mistake of Sprint, uh, if you made a mistake in Halo 4, you sometimes you can get away with it. You won't get exactly get punished. And I actually didn't like that feature. I didn't like it when I when some Idiot, I mean, I don't know. When somebody made a mistake while fighting against me, he um he makes a mistake and um he some somehow manages to get away with his sprint and he doesn't really get punished for making a mistake against me and then it becomes sort of like a cat and mouse game. You have to chase after the other person, or he basically recharges and can try again. People can do that over and over again. Um, sprint in Halo 5. Now I'm sure many people like Sprint. If they like. They absolutely love the changes that have been done to Sprint, and so do I. Sprint is actually balanced now in Halo, and I feel like it actually deserves to be in Halo 5 Guardians, and belongs to him, belongs to the future Halos now. Um, yes, so basically for balancing being done to Sprint is, if you, if you decide to run away like a coward with Sprint, um, your shields are not gonna recharge. And uh, while you're running away from your opponents, your teammate could easily pick them up because while you're running away, your shields are not going to be recharging. So if you one shot, you're going to be one shot until you stop moving and let your and wait for your shields to recharge. So getting away with sprint now is a lot harder than it was in Halo 4. It's much harder when you tr when you try to run away with sprint. Um, there's only a few times where you can get away. So most of the time, if you're by yourself or with not many teammates around you, somebody somebody else is gonna pick you off, or the same person who is attacking you, attacking you is gonna pick you off. So that's a pretty good thing. Sprint is, in my opinion, sort of balanced now and fits perfectly with Halo 5 Guardians, and I love it. So anyway, um, next up we're gonna be talking about is the um the ground pound, another big, cool, badass sort of spawn ability in Halo 5. Um, now really in this video I'm not going to be talking about the sort of airborne um, 
boosters or whatever, they're not really <laughs> that important. Um, because they can actually be disabled. But anyway, so let's talk about the, um, the ground pound. Ground pound. If you're mid-air, you can press the crouch button to do a devastating ground pound to either take out the shields of your, of your opponent or kill them. You can work your way. A direct hit will kill anything anything that isn't a pure direct hit will take out their shield and then you can take them away. Same thing like charge, it's very satisfying if you get the kill. There's a nice bone breaking sound to it as well and it's very, it's just badass. A lot of people like it. It plays nothing like the ground pound in Destiny um, because basically your ground pound in Destiny if you were a titan required absolutely no skill because it's basically pure auto aim. In um, Halo 5 Gra um, Guardians you require skill to use for ground pound. Uh, you have to get a direct hit to get the kill. Sometimes if you don't get a direct hit, you can get punished. In breakouts, you can get punished if you um, sort of fail with a ground pound. And it takes a, it takes a few seconds before you can unleash the attack on somebody. So while you're mid-air of ground pound, people can pick you off. So ground pound is definitely it, it can be a devastating attack, but at the same time, it is well balanced by free or free industries. And then last but not least, the other major um, sparring ability, which is goes together with a sprint, which mixes up the um, speed of a gameplay and tactica tactics of a gameplay as well. Thrusters, the big element added to Halo 5. At Halo 4, sprint was made default for everybody. In Halo 5, you have all the sparring abilities default to everybody, so everybody is um, has the same same sparring abilities and everything is even, um, which is a good thing. But they added in also a Frosted Pack, which was a fan favorite armor ability in Halo 4. They made that the default in Halo 5, and it works surprisingly well. Not really overpowered as some people tend to say it is. Basically, what I love about this... Well, a lot of people might like it because you can do ninjas with it. Sick ninjas. Ninjas will love a Frosted Pack, because they'll never want it to go away. Um, but yeah, the Frosted Pack, in my opinion, it's very freaking cool. Um, I like to use it in gunfights. You can use it in the middle of gunfights. If you if you feel like you could lose for gunfights, you could um, you can go and fruster. You can confuse your opponent and then do a reversal on them. Kill them. Kill them. Or you can use the froster pack to surprise your opponent from a corner. It's a very clever tactic you can use. And if you're a clever player, if you know what you're doing with a froster pack, you can use it to surprise enemies, flank them. And you can also use a Froster Pack to get from like top middle of truth to the enemy bases for flanking. So Frosters can be used for fl um, flanks, outmaneuvering your opponent and for reversals during gunfights. So yeah, Froster Pack. The only, the only negative about Froster Pack is... Um, oh yeah, the other good thing is about Froster Pack is... Hmm, actually, is it a good thing? I don't think so. But the good thing about... Um, so there's a negative about Froster Pack here. Now, um, it's very easy to get away from grenades with Frosted Pack. Apart from in Breakout. Breakout for grenades are very powerful. Even if you use your um, Frosted Pack, you can get killed by them. But if you play in a game like Slayer, Frosted Pack is going to be used to easily avoid um, frag grenades. Well, frag grenades not as much as plasma grenades. Plasma grenades take some time to actually detonate. So, fro um, plasma grenades are pretty much useless now from... Frost pack. As soon as you see for blue or for purple glow, you can thrust her away, and you're safe. Plasma nades are not as deadly as they were in Halo 4, it's sure. At Halo 4, they were the deadliest. So yeah, this is my opinions on the Halo. F my overall conclusion on the um, Halo 5 spawn abilities is they've been pretty well balanced and they fit perfectly, perfectly of Halo. And they chose. It's like they chose the perfect abilities for everybody to have. It's not like everybody has like an armor lock, for example, which, um, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine everybody having an armor lock, how broken Halo could be. Um, yeah, I think Halo, Halo would actually die if everybody would have armor lock. Like, imagine people having, like, everybody having armor lock, jetpack, and Promethean Vision. That would suck. So I think, um, Free Free made a perfect choice on picking out the special abilities as everybody in the game could have. And they balance them out extremely well, including Sprint and Froster Pack. So I'm, I'm enjoying them. I don't think Spartan abilities need some major tweaks. Maybe a few tiny tweaks, a few tiny tiny tweaks, but no major tweaks. I like it. So anyway, this has been um, Spartan abilities in Halo 5 Guardians, and I'll see you next.
the next episode. Peace. Round six.